so we're on day six. I've uh, bandaged my hands up and ready to go and check out some of the scenery around Phong Nha. Turns out the storm from yesterday actually passed us in the night and that's cool. So today it's not raining so far. Yeah, we're able to go explore. The only thing is the caves all around the area are all flooded and there's giants, uh, you know, I don't know if it's mud size, but the guy said that you know, there's no, none of them are open right now. So unfortunately, we might not be able to go check them out, but um, we're gonna go explore and see what we can find anyway. Yeah, we're gonna try to at least go to the entrances, if not just from a distance and try to get the drone close. I saw the entrance to Fong Na Cave this morning and the river is just really high. So I think it's just too high for a boat to go inside safely. But um, it rained a lot yesterday through the night, so it makes sense. So I just wanted to show you guys where I had my accident and what to look out for is right over here. So this is this bend here. We are coming from that side and I was coming around this corner here and there's a minibus coming this way and look at this gravel over here. So it's still on the road but it was really slippery and uh, yeah you can see. So I had to be closer to the edge and then I just slipped. Quite a scenic place to have an accident though, right? Yeah, that was what did it. Going around the bend and then I fell down there. The bike was on my leg, like sliding along. So the bike's okay, because it landed on me. <laughs> but luckily I was wearing protective stuff. Except these, ugh. And then I was like down in the gutter and my leg was stopped there with the bike on it and pulled it loose. Good times. I saw it happen and I heard it happen in my mirror. You saw it in the mirror? Yeah. How, what did it look like? You just went down at an angle and it made a loud, a loud cracking noise as you slid a little bit. <laughs> I knew, crack? I kind of thought it might happen and I was just hoping you would make it around but I had predicted it. Alright. Hello, your gas? Yep. Been keeps traveling with that for quite a while now. Keeps leaking so I gotta just use it while it's so not being wasteful. Yeah because that was full. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. What was that about not being wasteful? Okay, so now we're gonna try to find another cave, see if it's less flooded. Uh, dark cave, right? Paradise cave. Oh, paradise cave. Yeah. We'll see. See what we can see. So right behind me there is the entrance to Feng Ya Cave up in the mountain there and usually you can take a boat tour into Feng Ya Cave and that allows you to go through and, and see what's inside but because of the storm we can't do that so we're just going to take a look from here see if we can actually get the drone to fly through a little bit so um, yeah what do you think of the cave, Kyle? It's underwater. <laughs> it is, yeah, somewhat. I don't want to fly the drone in there and lose signal. Um, but let's, let's see close. if we can get a, a shot of it and see what it looks like. Oh. Hey, little cows. Oh, look at the baby. The water is flowing this way, 
I wonder where the water is coming from because the, on that side of the cave, there's no like river going through it. I'm just gonna check and see where the water could be coming from. What well, is an entire cave system? So this actually, I believe it's all linked up within the national park to Sondung Cave, which is the biggest cave in the world. And it's a $2,000 four day or five day expedition to go in there. And it's to preserve the cave and the, you know, the quality of everything here. So I think that's a good thing in a way. That's what Kyle said anyway. Uh, I would like to go do it. I wish it was cheaper than $2,000. But yeah, there's probably like underground rivers that all link up and that's why it's flowing out, right? Yes. Yes, go for it. All right, try to pull up. First, ah, ants biting me. First, gotta get a running start. Really? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> ah, they're still biting me. Here, Vance. There's a lot of fireflies, uh, dragonflies around here too. Oh, okay. Those little guys. Oh, there's another one. Get off the desk. <laughs> okay, let's fly the drone. We're driving up to Paradise Cave and there's this crazy river going on here. It is definitely flooded and this is the result of the typhoon. You can see that behind me there. And, and this typhoon went quite fast over Vietnam but it's gone into Thailand now and I think it went through the Philippines too. And I was speaking to some backpackers about it and the one guy was like yeah it's sick dude and i'm like no it's not sick this is a typhoon that causes flooding landslides and like people die from these things uh, especially in rural areas 
So it's quite an experience to be here while this is going on, but it's, uh, it's not a good thing at all. And man, his backpack is, uh, I, I'll have a rant about it later maybe, but uh, not my favorite uh, thing anymore, backpacking. I used to like doing it, but I don't know. Everyone's just partying and wanting to get drunk. And the guys in our dorm were sleeping until 12 today after like staying up the whole night. Here is nothing compared to what we heard about Halong Bay. Uh, What's happening? In Halong Bay, just the party. Not, not typhoons or anything. Oh yeah. But these guys were saying like, you go on party boats and there's drinking games all day, all kinds of peer pressure. And Halong Bay I'm sure has other boat tours with different vibes, but those guys came from there to the par party hostel we're at now. Yeah, I mean, if you want to do that, you can just travel along the party routes through Vietnam uh, to each their own, I guess. One good thing is they have banned single-use plastic in Halong Bay, as far as I know. So that's really good because the pollution and all the plastic was really making Halong Bay really dirty and it's supposed to be a World Heritage Site. So I'm glad to hear that. So we got here to the entrance of the Paradise Cave and they won't let us in even though we try to uh, pay the entrance fee, let's just put it that way. But uh, we met these guys from Serbia. What? How's your... Siberia. 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 Sorry. Yeah. 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 It's not yeah. part of Russia. Right. Yeah. Yeah. How's your trip going? Uh, it's really cool. We keep going. Um, 10 days from the north to the south in this amazing country. Yeah, yeah. it's a great road. We're also filming some videos, GoPro footage. Yeah, yeah we're also making a film Where are you gonna about post this it? country, yeah. about the people and the mountains. I don't know, about the nature. And the Where are you gonna post it if people wanna go check it out? Um, maybe YouTube or Instagram, you can follow us. <laughs> oh, what's your Instagram? I'll link it. Um, I'll send you, I'm not sure, no oh. worry. I saw a little way in there, and there's a little ladder over there. Oh, cool. Let's go check it out. Yeah. <laughs> One cave. But there is no cave in the map. I know. It's probably just a small one. Wanna right? go inside? Yeah. 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 Found this little cave and we're gonna go inside and check it out. Might not be so little, we'll see. It's not on the map or anything. made it into the cave up to the top there <laughs> what's it like up there pretty dark. whoa pretty dark. watch out pretty dark but come around so we just came up there now we're gonna go check out inside
open up in there? Uh, it will open up over here. Yeah. Let's go this way. Huh. Oh. That's a <laughs> giant block here. Whew, that was cool. Exploring the cave. Okay, so do you want to just tell everyone who you are and where you're from? Uh, okay, I'm traveling with my friend. Uh, we are from Russia, uh, northern part Siberia. It's very cold, but <laughs> so we moved here for one month and traveling around the Vietnam by the bike uh, from the north to south. And uh, it's a cool experience because uh, not so many people do that, and uh, you can see not absolutely not touristic place in this country, and it's amazing because in big cities you can't see the real life of the countries, you know, and uh, because of that we're traveling here by the bike. Yeah. yeah. And how is the north of Vietnam? Because I've only traveled a, um, a little bit on bike in the northern Vietnam by Sapa, maybe like 100 kilometers from Sapa. But did you do the whole like loop around there? Yeah, yeah. Um, what can I tell about the north? It's a mountain, amazing mountains. But Sapa, it's a tourist, touristic place yeah, and yeah. it's not so beautiful uh, of all places which we saw and uh, the road to the Sapa, it was the mo uh, more beautiful than the city. Mm. So... Yeah. Did you come into Sapa on the west or the east? No, from the east and the little north. Right, yeah. <laughs> so I think I've driven up that yeah, road yeah, before. Yeah. yeah, that's really yeah. beautiful. Cool, and you've got, uh, what, two more weeks, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And you have one week on? in uh, Vietnam and uh, one week to go from uh, Cambodia to Bangkok and uh, we have a flight to our city. Awesome, cool. I'll link this uh, their Instagram below so you can uh, check out their travel <laughs> film when they yeah. finish it. Cool. All right, yes. cool. Thanks guys. All right. Productive day. I'm happy I found that cave. Yeah, that was cool. Otherwise, we wouldn't have got to go into yeah. So, that was a super fun day of traveling around. We're back at our hostel, and as you can see, it's a, it's a party hostel. Um, it's nice to like just be around some of the foreigners for a while. Um, it's quite a big touristy area now. I had no idea. But as you can see, the whole street is lined with hotels and hostels and there's a couple of these really big ones like this and uh, yeah if you're into that then it can be fun
130,000 gets you for now. It's called Easy Tiger. That's not a tiger print. That's a leopard. Missed opportunity. That is not acceptable. Unacceptable. We're never anyway. coming back. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we are never coming back. Yeah. Just a bit. Uh. Anyway. That's it for this vlog. On to the next leg of the trip tomorrow. Peace out.